Hi, I'm Chris Good, and I'm a spine surgeon at the Virginia Spine Institute. I just want to talk to you about something I'm extremely passionate about, and that is the use of robotics and technology in spine surgery. I've been lucky to be part of leading the evolution of spine surgery in the field of robotics, and what's going on with robotics right now is probably the single most important thing that we're looking at, revolutionizing the future of spine surgery and our ability to care for our patients. The reason I see this as critically important is that this technology can allow many different types of spine surgeons to improve their accuracy and safety during spine surgery. We all know that spine surgery is very difficult and for some cases can be unpredictable. We can use computerized planning to help us plan better surgical procedures and then use robotics and a specialized technology called navigation in order to execute those plans with a high degree of accuracy. This will allow surgeons to come into the operating room with a better plan and provide them with tools to execute that plan more safely. When we do spine surgery, it can be very delicate and technical work. And as a spine surgeon, it's critical that I hit a bullseye every single time, every single day. Now, while we are very highly trained and we're very good at doing that, any tools that we can utilize to improve our accuracy can lead to better results for our patients. In some exciting work that we've been doing, we've actually been showing that using robotics helps to improve the safety of the surgery we're doing, decreasing a patient's risk for complications with surgery and decreasing the chances that they'll need to come back to the operating room for another surgery. This is the kind of thing that I believe will revolutionize the future and something that all surgeons will want to adopt as time go forward and be able to offer to their patients. So let me take you through the process of how computerized planning and robotics can be used in spine surgery. So this actually starts long before the patient enters the operating room. We are actually using scans of the patient's body to plan the ideal surgery. And this highly powerful computerized system allows the surgeon to measure angles and plan out what would be the ideal surgery for that patient. We're actually creating a blueprint for what we want to happen during the surgical procedure. To me, this is much better than having a general idea and then going into surgery and trying to execute things on the fly. So typically, I'm planning the surgery out well before the surgery, thinking about my patient, thinking about my goals for their surgery, and I actually go into the operating room with a blueprint put together that I install onto a computer in the operating room. Now that computer in the operating room is controlling two different things. One is actually a mechanical arm that moves around the patient during the surgery. And that arm helps to guide me to reach the plan that I have already put together. It's essentially a very, very accurate guide for my hands. Now that robotic arm helps me to execute each of the plan steps that I put together. Now while this is all happening, there's a whole separate component which is actually a camera that's watching the process. And that camera can see the spine, it can see my implants, see what my hands are doing. And it actually lines up what's happening in the operating room with the blueprint that I put together ahead of time. I can see that what I'm doing matches up with my previous blueprint. And you can think of that as like the double check of the system. And so we're taking this very, very powerful plan, we're going into the operating room with a better plan than we would have had before, and then we have these two components working together along with the surgeon to improve the accuracy of what we're doing. This type of robotics really isn't replacing the surgeon. The surgeon is still coming up with the individualized plan for every patient. My hands are touching and guiding all of the instruments. So this is really not a type of surgery where the robot is operating room and the surgeon is down the hall having a cup of coffee. But it is very, very high tech tools to help me do a better job as a surgeon.